Hey guys, Venomous here and I got a brand new OTGT for you now. Today I'm talking about Transformers War for Cybertron. Okay, I got the game, I did a full playthrough of it throughout the ca entire campaign, both Autobots and Decepticons, and I gotta say I really love it. As a Transformers game, this is probably the best Transformers game I've ever gotten my hands on. Okay, because there's, a, you know, number one, it takes place during the Generation 1 Transformers, which is Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Bumblebee, Megatron, Starscream, etc. You know, most of the basic Transformers in, of the G1 generation that we all know and love from the 80s okay there's a lot of throwbacks throughout the course of the entire game you know a lot of throwbacks to different uh what is it old school transformer storylines and different you know setups for future storylines including one part you know spoilers a little bit here but you know not too much where it's pretty much the origin of the actual matrix of leadership that optimus prime gets that we've all seen in the transformers the movie back from the 80s so it's a pretty good it's a nice good little game for transformers fans and, you know transformers fans out there are going to be really really excited and really you know satisfied with this type of game because it has so many throwbacks and on top of that it actually plays very well you know transforming is really on the fly you hit the l3 button you go from vehicle to robot mode and vice versa it's you know instantaneous and then the actual gameplay when the gunfights and stuff is pretty cool now my only gripe with this game is in, is in the multiplayer to be honest with you okay i feel that the multiplayer is really unbalanced okay because there'll be times when i'm actually playing as a specific type of class which i don't see to be really you know that powerful and it'll be completely dominating and game breaking perfect example okay you take a tank like character like a straight on soldier who's pretty much you know built for combat and stuff okay that deals a heavy amount of damage okay as compared to someone who's like a medic, which, you know, traditionally in most games is supposed to be substantially weaker than that of a soldier or a commander or whatever, okay? And the medic will be able to kill the soldier, which has a higher defense than the actual medic, within like one or two hits with a melee attack. Now, I know melee attacks in this game are somewhat, you know, pretty damn decently powerful, but the actual difference in power levels between the classes, I think, is just way too blurred, and I think it needs to be at least, you know, rebalanced as if there's ever a second game made by the same company that did it. But overall, the game is really, really good, and I do recommend any Transformers fans out there that want a good Transformers game, you know, aside from the stuff that we get from the movies, definitely pick this up and definitely give this a playthrough, because it is well worth your time you know especially if you're a transformers fan okay anyway that's just my thoughts on this whole thing leave your comments and video responses i don't mind just keep it civil let me know if you guys had a blast playing this you know about the multiplayer let let me know anything let us know anything and i'll talk to you guys again soon venomous is out and that was only the goddamn truth